Right now, a live picture from 31st and Harrison in front of the 11th District Police Station, where protesters are gathering, demanding justice in the shooting death of a Dexter Reed. Reed's family watched the video yesterday, and today they spoke out during an emotional news conference. Our Sabrina Franza continues our coverage now. Sabrina, you spoke with Reed's family. His family, they're grieving this sudden loss. They laid Dexter Reed to rest on Friday and saw that video over the weekend. But they're wondering why that stop was made in the first place. As you heard, police said it was because they were making a traffic stop for Reed not wearing his seatbelt. But his family calls it an assassination. I just don't understand what is wrong with the police. Why they doing all these kids pulling them over with no, you know, for no reason. Nicole Banks' son, Dexter Reed, was shot and killed by police on March 21st. I feel like I've been shot. My insides is burning up. Why they did that to my son? She says he had just purchased the car he was driving when police pulled him over in some of her last moments with him. And he was just riding around in his car. He said, Mom, I'm going for a ride. Reed never made it home. The 26-year-old dreamt of being a broadcaster. He had played basketball at Westinghouse College Prep before later playing for Morton College. Dexter is not here because of the actions and inactions of this administration and this police chief. Good morning. Mayor Brandon Johnson visited the family over the weekend, promising a thorough investigation. The family wants more. In what we think there should be a criminal indictment against some of these officers. Asking for the city to dissolve its tactical police units, like the one that pulled Reed over. It must stop. It ain't the first person it happened to. And if it don't be justice, if they not held accountable, it won't be the last person. The family maintains that Reed was unarmed when he got out of his car and was shot by police. It's not clear if anything happened before he got out of his vehicle. His family also did not address concerns that a Chicago police officer was shot during the same traffic stop. We're live in the control room. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sabrina.